Congratulations, Amy. You should clear out your desk since you no longer work here. You have been chosen. Thank you, Mr. Rudolph. Exactly what is the new job? You will be my wife. Take this week to pretty yourself up for the wedding. If you need to ask me any questions before the 23rd, you can reach me at that number. You are certainly welcome to email me too. Now, I don't want you to worry about a thing, so I took care of all the wedding arrangements, including the ring. There is one thing you'll need to do though, and that is getting the dress. Just tell whatever bridal shop you go to that I sent you and they'll send the bill to me. I don't want to make this a big to-do, so I will send a limo to your apartment and we'll get married at my house. Feel free to invite whoever you want. I will have my secretary give you more details in a package she's gathering together. Hopefully, that will be on your doorstep tomorrow before noon. No. No what? I'm keeping my job here. But it's against company policy for me to marry you if you work for me. Which is a good reason why you can't do this. Of course, I can. In case you aren't aware of the implications of marrying me, I have to fire you. Fire me. Or you can quit. Either way, I think you'll find your unemployment package to your liking. You'll have access to my checking account and everything. I don't want your checking account. We do not have an agreement. I will not marry you. I will keep working here. Why? Because I don't like being told what to do, that's why. I'm an adult. I'm not a child who needs my decisions made for me. But you can't do better than me. I'm surprised you don't just club me on the head and drag me back to your cave. Do you really prefer such hostile treatment? I don't see how what you're doing is much better. I just offered you a good deal. I'm not marrying you, and there's nothing you can do that will make me.